after Jordan Seaton, the number one ranked offensive tackle recruit in the country in the class of 2024 committed, Matt Smith and I did an emergency podcast. William, you've got a regular day job, but we left, we held back just a little bit. I want to get your thoughts on Jordan Seaton. Did you get a chance to to watch him on film a little bit and, and garner some more thoughts about what his potential will be in Boulder? Yeah, I really did, and, and I and I love what I see, and I think uh, you know playing for IMG Academy means he he got probably as good a coaching as you can expect anywhere in America uh, for high school football. And what I see in his film is is he's got sort of the whole package of size, athleticism, length, but he's very polished and he's very well coached. So you know, there's a two couple of films that I looked at on his huddle uh, that were very impressive. And, you know, what really stuck out to me is that he's got just really nice athleticism. He can really move. He can really run. He's got great length, long arms, and he uses his hands and arms well, which is not common, I think, in high school kids. But he's got he got, he got nice ability to uh, use use his hands and not be faked out to, to punch too early. And he's really kind of dominant in, in every facet of the game. I picked out a play uh, – on that, uh, I think it was a mid-senior year uh, highlight reel from this past year at the 34-second mark, and it's a goal line run play. And he's just very dominant uh, against the defensive end, both with his hands and his feet, and it's just really pretty to watch. And, and one thing that I've noticed is that he 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 goes to the whistle. He goes to the finish. I mean, I, there's a couple plays where he just drove a guy all the way off the field and past the bench where you couldn't even see him anymore, you know? <laughs> And lots of plays where he's putting guys on the ground. Um, you know, the second play on that same reel, I, I, I made a notice that, man, he could really move. And he was pulling across the line from left tackle to right um, and just uses his hands really nicely. And, you know, he, he's polished. You know, he's not he, – he clearly at the high school level, he hasn't seen the kind of defensive ends and, and linebackers that he'll see in the Big 12. But uh, he handles both the speed and the power rush very well. Um, I love his physicality and the pass protection. You know, a lot of guys are kind of passive in pass pro and he's looking to bury dudes even in the pass protection, which is, which is sort of fun and, uh, nice to see, um, there was a play that I picked out at, uh, the one thirty six mark in that, uh, senior year video where his pass protection was just perfect from, from the first step all the way through his hands were right. His, his first step was right. His feet were right. His test, his stance was right. Got his hands where he was supposed to be turned when he was supposed to turn and just kind of ran this guy up the field. And, and I was just very impressed by that particular play that he's well coached. He's, he's not, you know, kind of guessing how to pass protect. He's, he really does it pretty well already. So I think he's got enough that he is a legit uh, prospect to start. I mean, you know, certainly right now we don't we don't have a left tackle on on the roster. I would I would say, um, and we'll see who comes in through the portal. But uh, you know, Alabama started a left a freshman left tackle, and they have got all the talent in the, in the world on that team. So there are guys that come in. Uh, there's a reason why they're five star guys, and uh, you know, he's six five. I wouldn't be surprised. They they list him six five what 290 I think but I wouldn't be surprised if he's closer to 6'6 six, six because I'm looking at his arm length and it's just really superior got really long arms I think I, I think I saw it listed somewhere as a 6'10 six, six, wingspan arm. yep that's correct yeah, yeah. That. and you can really see it on the film I mean he doesn't let anybody get close to him and a lot of guys with long arms they'll, they'll let a guy in and they're, they're in here and like well, what the hell man why have long arms if you're not going to use them and he really yeah. blocks out both in the run and the pass 